Hey everybody, it's Amanda. I have an observation. Um, there's three, what I've observed, there are three different groups that are adamant Trump supporters. The first one is rich people because they like it because they don't have to pay taxes anymore and they can buy private jets and not have to pay for it. It's a tax write-off. And, you know, they can move their money and get all their regulations removed. You know, it doesn't matter what they do to um, the environment. It doesn't matter how they treat their employees. As long as they're making money, that's all that matters. That's the number one group. Then the second group are evangelical Christians. And all they care about is Trump does something about abortion and gay marriage because in their scriptures whatever you know whatever ones they're reading they only see two sins and one of them is abortion and the other one is being gay that's really funny since there's 613 laws and a lot of them they're committing they're being haughty and self-righteous and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, as long as they get rid of abortion and gay marriage, they're a happy bunch. But they don't want anybody interfering with their right to go tell people and try to get prayer in school. And as long as it's their kind of prayer. Now, if they become a minority one of these days and somebody tells them they got to pray the Islamic prayers, they'll have a fit. That's right, honey. They just want what they want that applies to them, and they want everybody else's rights to be taken away from. Yeah, that's all they care about. They're not loving. They're not kind. They're not anything. They just want, you know, if you don't have to marry a gay person, why does it matter to you? It's so stupid. You know, if you want your rights left alone, leave everybody else's alone. You just go do your thing and let everybody do theirs. It's none of your business. Stay out of everybody's bedroom. Then the other bunch that support him are just plain racist. Yeah. And boy, does he backpedal and do everything to try to come out against any of those proud boys or militias or hate groups like neo-Nazis and, you know, the KKK. He won't dare say anything bad about him. And he goes, well, I don't know anything about him, but I heard they really like me. <laughs> what kind of crap is that? But if this offends you, you must be in one of those groups. That's right, honey. It's time to tell that man that it's time to conclude this clown show and tell him to give up because he lost. He's never going to get anywhere. He's not going to be the next president. He won't ever run again because he's never going to put himself out there again to lose again because now he's a loser and he's a narcissist. And what nobody understands is how do you say you hate socialism and then you want him as a dictator? or you want to be a dictator. If you don't want anybody telling you what to do, why do you want to tell anybody else what to do? You need to look in the mirror and you need to recognize that, honey, you ain't in charge. Your Bible is not the Constitution and the people in Congress and in the military and everybody that works for the government does not swear allegiance to Donald Trump. They swear allegiance to the Constitution and he cannot take over the government. You would be nuts to want him to be a dictator because once he gets rid of everybody else, he gonna come after you. So think about it. Look yourself in the mirror. Go, if I support him, which group am I in? You're in one of them.